did, he did a remarkable, remarkable job. And you compare that to the current administration right now, and I'm not sure, and, and honestly, I give somebody credit, and credit is due, I'm not sure if I can come up with a single quantitative metric right now today that's working. What's working? You know, the, the, the fact that oil prices went through the absolute roof. My father had the lowest oil prices in the history of the nation. Remember? <laughs> He picked it within like a day or two of the lowest lock into a mass effect, filled with the whole energy reserves. Which Biden ends up using to, to try to win him re-election, you probably remember that. He, he drained the entire petroleum reserves, which by the way are meant for national defense and not meant for, you know, trying to win yourself an election when you're grossly unpopular because you drive gas prices. So so Biden comes in the first day, what does he do? He cancels the Keystone XL pipeline. Gas prices go through the roof. Then next day he comes out and says there's going to be a war on all fracking, all drilling, all this, all that, all that, all everything. Instant war on, on all forms of energy. Guess what? Gas prices go through the roof. So what follows gas prices? Inflation, right? And what else happens? Russia becomes rich. Our enemies become rich. Iran becomes rich. Russia becomes rich. It's also easy to fight a war against Ukraine when you're selling energy for $120 a barrel. It's awfully tough to fight a war when you know, your greatest commodity as a country is at $25, $30 a barrel. It bankrupts them. It bankrupts our enemies. And beyond that, we were energy independent under Donald Trump. So we were sending oil and gas from the United States over to Europe. So we were making money. America was profiting off of it. Russia was making absolutely nothing. They couldn't fight wars, they couldn't enrich themselves. Same thing with Iran. And instead what happens, energy prices go through the roof. Every time we go fill up at the pump, you know, we get absolutely hammered, it's three times as expensive. But then the administration goes out, they spend $250 billion fighting a war on the other side of the globe. They shouldn't have happened. Guess whose money that is? That's your money. That's, that's your taxpayer money. So not only are you paying more, I, I, not, not to make anybody depressed in this room, but not only are you paying more at the pump, but you're spending $250 billion of our money that can go into having the greatest schools in the world, that can have the greatest manufacturing in the world, that can take care of vents in this country, that can be used for awesome programs, that can benefit so many people. And guess what? We're paying for that. And you know how much Germany's contributed? Less than 10%. And they're not even contributing to NATO and other things. I mean, it's, it's a joke. So guess what? We have skyrocketing inflation. You know, eggs go up 67%. Everything goes up. You know, heating oil. Heating oil goes through the absolute roof. I mean, there, there's, there was a time where literally at Home Depot, you know, two by fours were like 16, 17 bucks a two by four. Everybody here remembers that. Sheets of five over 80 bucks. It was insane. Our, our entire supply chain was absolutely shot and went to garbage. And you know where Pete Buttigieg was, our, our great secretary of transportation? When nothing was on the shelves and any supply would cost 80 bucks, Pete Buttigieg went on paternity leave because why wouldn't you leave all the, all the shelves in the country empty and, and, and go on a hiatus? And when Kamala Harris became border czar, you know where she went? She went to Vietnam because if you become border czar and you have a massive immigration problem and they're overrunning our southern border, tens of millions of people a year, why not go to Vietnam if you're border czar? Man, I mean, think about that. And then you have the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. Now, where's Joe Biden? He's in Delaware because, you know, after a 20 year war, spending trillions of dollars over there and losing thousands of people and having thousands of people injured, probably people in this room right now, why wouldn't you be in Delaware as literally the Taliban is chasing us out of one of the greatest military installations which we paid for anywhere on Earth? It, it's a clown show. It's a clown show, and you know he needs this job of a hole in the head. I say that every single day. I 